Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve, I am a drone pilot. The reason I always say I'm a drone pilot is because I come from the drone world, but in the year 2023, when you say you're a drone pilot, it means you fly unmanned, remotely controlled items in the air, such as this brand new UMX Waco. It is super windy today, but I'm gonna try this automated flight today, just to see how it goes. I've been looking forward to flying this plane when it was announced earlier this month. Let me just show you the unboxing, watch this. This is an unboxing, you just open in the box because it's already put together and if I hold all the foam pieces in <laughs> look the wind is blowing everything that's it that's what you get in the box the plane comes fully assembled you just put a battery in it it uses a little three cell 300 milliamp hour lipo battery with a JST connector you stick that in you power on your spectrum radio because it is UMX and then you just hit binds and they bind together so I'm pretty excited to fly this in the wind <laughs> everything's blowing around here so this is going to be an awesome video because we're going to see how well this does in the wind as well as how well does it fly it's pretty tiny it doesn't weigh anything it weighs under 250 grams with a battery but it's gorgeous let me bring it closer and show you this is our beautiful waco it is well designed but you know what waco stands for i didn't know weaver aircraft company of ohio it's a usa company look at this it's actually got little threads going from the top wing to the bottom wing just like the real thing your pilot's got a little scarf back here <laughs> that's pretty cool you only have ailerons and an elevator and rudder control which is needed for today you have no flaps or anything like that but uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun to fly and to put the battery in it's as simple as this you just pull off the front there we go front comes off battery goes in there no sensible person would take a brand new plane that they've never flown before and fly it on a windy day especially this small but uh, I guess I don't fall in that category because I don't mind. Okay, battery's going to be plugged in. There we are. Battery is in in the front. Put the battery all the way to the front because the CG wants it to be a little bit nose heavy. So that's good. We have uh, ailerons. See that? The top and the bottom ones move up and down. Nice. Uh, I'm trying to do this with one hand. We have our elevator in the back. We have our rudder. There we go. Motor seems pretty powerful. We're gonna try this out. Now, if you look behind me, I don't have much of a runway, but since it's so windy and the wind is coming this way, I'm just gonna ram it into the wind and I'm sure it's gonna take off. I don't usually fly with gloves on, but I have no choice today. It's much too cold. All right, so the plane is gonna aim this way. So uh, here we go. Going up. Timer start. I was right, look at that. Volts. Now with the wind, it's gonna go like a bat out of hell. Timer stop. And I'm in timer the sun. Start. Now you can tell I didn't set up my radio fully. That's why it's doing the timer start, timer stop. Timer stop. Timer That's start. just default. I've just left everything default because I set it up super fast. And look at this little Waco going. Don't hit me in the head, Waco. <laughs> there we go. If it was a less windy day, then it would fly pretty cool. Now I'm flying at about 30% throttle because of the wind. It just bounces around, but here we go. I'm gonna go full throttle. Ready? Now, full throttle. Whoa, look at that go. Get out of the sun. Volts. And I'm in the sun. Let's see if I can bring it back to me full C9. throttle. Mm, there we are. <laughs> so I'm just so impressed that it flies in the wind. It bounces all over the place, up and down. It's just kind of ridiculous looking. I'm hovering right in the air, not even moving anywhere because of the wind. <laughs> that is insane. All right. I gotta lessen the, the throttle stop. and bring it down over here. Boink, there we go. So first impressions are not made for flying on windy days. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick a little camera underneath the wing here. This is probably a bad idea, but I did stick a little camera down here. It's a little Insta360 go. You can see it's right where the pilot is right there. So we should get some video shooting forward if it flies and doesn't crash. I just noticed when it landed on the ground previously, I lost the wheel. Let's just toss it into the wind, see if she flies. <laughs> There we go with the camera. Look at that. Look at this thing go. Time remaining two minutes. ESC 10.4. Well, that's impressive. With the camera, it even flies better because it adds nose weight. ESC 9.8 volts. Battery's getting low, so I'm going to bring her down for a landing. It started to do the pulsating uh, motor thing, which tells me I should have changed my battery. But here we go. ESC 10.2 volts. Coming down, coming down. You can see it right there. I could probably snatch it out of the air. Let's come around again. ESC 10.6 volts. I'm gonna come into the wind and straight at me over ESC here. ESC 10.7 time, time, timer stop. Timer start. Timer stop. Uh, timer, I'll prop timer it stop. down right in front of me. There we go. 
Time out, time out, time out. Now, in that video, you saw me flying this on a very cold day in the wind, and it wasn't performing that well. It doesn't like strong winds. So there's not much wind today. It's early morning. Kids are going to school back there. So I'm going to fly this around here in the parking lot because it is a park flyer, and we'll see how it does. Now, a little bit of a spoiler alert. I've flown this already when there's no wind, and it is gorgeous. It's an awesome plane. All right, so the trick here is to fly before all the cars start showing up, and the cars would be the children going to school. So so uh, let's launch it from the ground. You'll see this thing flies beautifully. So arm the motors and uh, yeah, Time we're all set to go. Time to start. Going up, nice smooth flight. Look at that, without any wind, it is freaking Time gorgeous. I just have to watch out for all these posts up here. Time start. Go over that one. Time stop. Dive down at me over here, coming right back. Look at this. <laughs> this thing is so awesome. Look at how slow I can go. I don't even need to put a camera on it because it's such a slow flyer. I'll watch out for Jacques over there, Peter. Timer stop. There we are. So you can see my parking lot is filling up with more and more cars, but this is a park flyer airplane. It's just to have fun out at a park. Look at this thing. I'm keeping it low and close to me so that you can see it in my GoPro hat. And it will just stay airborne. It doesn't stall or anything. It's an awesome plane. So now you want to see it do some cool stuff. Timer so stop. what I'll have to do is go to a larger Timer area start. for that. Timer but let me stop. just land it now to show you. It can land nicely. So Timer come back start. towards me. Timer Make sure no Timer cars stop. are coming. I'll bring it down at my feet. Nice landing. There we are, right. Oh, wants to sit under the Jeep. I guess that's the hangar. All right, I'm gonna take it out to that field out there and do some 3D acrobats. So I'm walking out to the field, but I will say I'm glad I didn't base my opinion on that plane based on the windy flight on that cold day, because I didn't enjoy the flight that much. But uh, I tell you, when you fly it on a non-windy day, on a beautiful morning or a beautiful evening, it is awesome. So I'm out at the field now and uh, there's gravel and wet crap all over the ground. So I'm just gonna hand toss it. So to hand toss a plane like this is just underhand. You could try to do it overhand, but the problem when people throw planes overhand is they put the nose down, which is not good. So underhand's good because you're just naturally throwing it up. So I'll show you what I mean. Watch this quick uh, underhand toss. There we go. She's up, way up there. I'll bring it down, Timer get her out of the sun, and I'll bring it over to us so we can see it. All right, here we are. Coming right at me, going right by me, nice Timer and slow. Gorgeous, gorgeous plane. All right, I'll show you some 3D. Now, of course, when you do 3D on a plane Timer like this, stop. it's stop. difficult to do it low to the ground, so I have to go up a bit. So I don't know if my GoPro will pick it up, but here, here we go. Stop. I'll try Timer to do start. a loop. There's a loop. There we Timer are. Stop. And then if you want to do uh, barrel rolls, I think these are called barrel rolls. You know, I'm not a big aviation guy. I really don't know. So I'll go nice and slow. Timer start. Do some rolls. It's very slow to do them. There we go. I'm just flipping. I'm doing spins in the air. You probably Time can't see that, can minutes. you? And we'll do a roll. There we are. Do it some rolls. Cool little things. If I had smoke coming out the back, it would look pretty cool. Such a, it's such a fun plane to fly. It's very, very forgiving for no timer matter what start. you do. Here's a roll. Timer, timer right start. There. Oh, <laughs> I had to save that one at the last second. It's so forgiving, you can save it. Just crank on the throttle, get out of anything. Timer, timer start. Now you could probably catch it in your hand. Uh, I haven't tried timer it, start. but some other people catch them in their hand because you can fly it so slow timer instead stop. of landing it. Stop. Try to get it to go slow. Timer, timer stop. Timer oh, I want to slow it down so it's almost at stopping speed. Timer stop. Okay, throttle's going almost off. And we're going to go into gliding mode in a second. Timer stop. Timer stop. There we are. And we landed over there. Beautiful plane. The other thing too I want to mention is flight time on here. It's a lot longer than I thought. I checked all my batteries every time I fly this and I always think my batteries would be down like 10%. But they're all at 60% and I fly for like five minutes. So flight time on this, just crazy long. So my final thoughts on this plane is it's definitely a buy for someone looking for a Christmas gift this year because UMX planes are awesome to get under the tree because in the winter time, if it's frosty and cold out or snowy, you just hand toss them and you can fly them and you can land them and they're really good. The only negative I have with this plane is if I had to give it a fragile level, like say 10 was the most fragile plane in the world, you look at it, falls apart, and one was the most solid plane, this plane is close to like a seven or an eight in fragile. Uh, I have broke so many pieces off it from flying it. And that's like on, you know, hard landings or soft landings or just typical things, bashing up stuff from maybe a nose in or whatever. The foam on here really takes 
a beating in the way I would not prefer to take a beating. In other words, it shows the beating. And if you hold it too tight with your fingers, you're going to crush in the foam. So unfortunately, for that reason, it's not that great in that department. But they make it like that so it's so light. And that's why when you saw me fly it out here, it flies awesome. So because of that, I'd also say I wouldn't recommend it for a true beginner. Because a true beginner, you're going to crash this as soon as you launch it. And it's not going to survive several crashes. So this is probably more for somebody who's flown one or two RC planes already. And then you fly this. But it is so easy to fly. So easy to fly. It's awesome. And it looks gorgeous. It's the most gorgeous looking little UMX plane I think they've ever made. It's really nice. All right guys links to this product are below go check it out and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and i'll catch you in a future video with many more reviews until then i say bye